Hey guys and welcome back to Shenzhen I.O. So, we have our... Mm, we've got our little piece of code that turns the thing on and off. Um... Okay, so that tests to see whether the button's been pushed. And that tests to see if it's on. Um... Okay, if it's not on, that does this. If it is on, it moves that and then tests that. And then if that... Okay. If not, it evens that out and then sleeps for one. Okay, it's only sleeping for one because that's what it's been told to do. Um, Okay, and then what I need to do is test it if equals P0 100. If it does jump to... Uh, I think I'll change that to go. If it is jump to go... If it's not... Uh, I don't need to make it if it's not. I can then do... Move P1 X3 Jump Loop uh, Let's change that to LP Okay, and where are we at now? Why is it on? Test of P uh, P0 equals 100. <clears throat> if P0 doesn't equal 100, sleep. One jump go. Does, so see if that... Okay, it's on. Uh, okay, so that does that. It's not, so then it sleeps again. Okay, so it's hit 100. Then it tests to see if the thing's on or not. If it's not, it turns it on. Okay. That's not sleeping. So can I... Yeah, because it must be on for it to do that. Okay. Wait, why'd that jump go? Oh, because technically that was still... Okay, so if we remove that...
Okay. Moves that sleeps one. Okay, and then that jumps. That'll then jump to go. Uh, oh, okay. So that's all fucked. Great. Somehow I don't think this is possible in a <laughs> in a single thing. All right, so let's. Right, considering that the button's just on and off, I feel like I could easily just change that into an X bus. And uh, I would do that there that there and that out. Um, actually let's just do... Let's do it like this for now and we'll use a big one and we can just make it a smaller one if need be. We can just copy paste the code. Uh, so this is going to see if it's on or off. Um, I'm trying to think if I need to change it to an Xbox or not. Uh, test if equals... This doesn't really doesn't need to be a big one. I'm just trying to think of the, the actual code that's going to go into this. Test if equals P1. As 0. Um, I wish I could get bigger notes. Want to buy bigger notes. Uh, test if equals P1 is 0. Uh, if it is 0, I think it's, I think it's more, it's probably better if I do 100. If that is 100, test to see if P1 is 0. If that's not 100, then sleep for 1. If P0 is not 0. No, I want that to be sleep for 1. Then jump go. Should be here. If it is, then test to see if P0 is 0. Uh, P1 is 0, sorry. If it is 0, then turn off. If it's not 0, then tear. Okay. If it is zero, then move one to X one, which should be off. And if it's not, then move zero to X one, which should be tear. And sleep one. We can remove that if we change 
Uh, let's just change that to sleep. Let's change it to actual sleep because making it SLP is confusing, so. Um, okay, so P0. If P0 doesn't equal 100, then that's the button, then that means that nothing's changed. Uh, move to X1 and then sleep, so that means that. That means that it's to do nothing, but I still want an X plus thing because I want this to iterate over X plus. The X plus input. Which will be every turn. Uh, you do that. Then bridge this over to here. Okay, so then. Well, that should do that every turn anyway, so I won't need to SLX. Okay, so. Move X1 DAT. Test compare DAT. Uh, one. If it's zero, then move P0 to P1. If it's two, uh, you know what? No, test compare. Okay, so what I'm going to do is zero is going to be off, one is going to be null, and two is going to be tear. So if it's one, do nothing. But so test compare DAT one. If it's less than, if it's less than one, it should be off. You come up here. Oh, that's a an X bus. Okay, it's not a big deal. I should know that was an X bus. Uh, move X three. Uh, if DAT is one, then. If it's zero, uh, if it's zero, do nothing, because we don't want it to do anything. Uh, if if it's two, then move zero ACC. It's the tear function that's the weird one. Uh, no, you don't want to move zero to ACC, do you? So we might have to use DAT for this, so it's stored. Um, yeah, give me a second here, game. Well, if this... Hmm. 
That test to see if P0 is 100. It shouldn't do anything if a 1 gets moved across. It should just continue with what it's doing. It should only change when something actually happens here. Okay. But that can't test to see if P0 is 0 because if this, if this is 0, shit. Okay. Ah, oh my god. I can't tell that when to turn on and off because the tear comes into it as well, so if I, if I tear something and it's zero, unless it doesn't take into account that. We can try and not take that into account and hope that someone doesn't like tear it and then turn it off with some weight still on it. Um, I can hope, that's an assumption though. Like you would actually need to take the thing off. It's a feature. It's not about, it's a feature, it's not a bug. Um, anyway, what the fuck were we doing? I was trying to work out how to tear stuff. Uh, <clears throat> So do I really need to move X1 to DAT or can I just... TCP DAT one, uh, uh, X1 Then move... If it's 2 that's the tear so what I do is move the accumulator to the data okay and then what I should always do is then move P0 to ACC sub DAT move ACC X3 Then sleep one. Will this work? Fuck knows. No, you just sent zero to it. Whereas... That sent a one. Ah, and obviously one is null. So it should start off though. Shit. <laughs> it needs to it obviously needs to start off. But is it always gonna start off? Is it always gonna start off for two things? Like that's what I'm saying, is it? It's fine, just shh, don't don't say anything. Uh, it's fine. Wait, what did that send that to begin with? P0 equals 100 Uh Sec Um Ah Okay, let's drop a note here Test to see whether. Test to see if the 
thing is on or off first. Okay, that's a little note for the for the next episode. Because unfortunately we've run out of time in this episode. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve, you've been awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.